Is the, the by-election result almost a rebuke of Boris Johnson's failure to realise the aspirations of many of those voters in 2019, in your view? Yeah, I think it was a shot across the bows. It was a clear warning. And the leading opposition party's vote fell quite a bit. The Conservative vote fell massively. Lots of people stayed at home. And I think um, lots of good Conservative voters from 2019 in that constituency said, come on, government, we want you to raise your game. We want you to do better. We want you to deliver the things you promised. I think they want a, a clear Brexit with the wins from Brexit, because we still haven't had many of those. Government's been very shy. I think they want the lower taxes, not the higher taxes that Mr Sunak wishes to impose from April onwards. I think he should cancel the national insurance increase immediately. Uh, and of course, they were worried by all the noises off about senior civil servants and others uh, apparently not obeying the rules that they were so keen to apply to the rest of us during the course of the pandemic. So it was a perfect storm. And I'm urging the Prime Minister to listen and to understand that they wanted a Conservative government with a small C as well as a big C, and they expect him to lead a recovery. They want yeah. optimism about the economy. They want lower so, taxes to fuel it. Uh, so they I mean, want do, do, proper do, discipline in the public services. I mean, do, do you think that... that Miss, our Prime Minister understands that. Do you think that he really understands what happened in 2019 and why people um, lent their vote to the Conservative Party. Do you really think that um, our Prime Minister understands that at a fundamental level? Well, I hope so. And I and others have been trying to explain, <laughs> explain this in different formats and different ways, uh, directly and indirectly through the media. Uh, and I think it was very difficult to interpret that by-election in any other way uh, and all the other things that we see in the national opinion polls. Uh, and yes, on a good day, I, I think the Prime Minister does fully understand. I think the Prime Minister has been hedged in by scientific advisers, by the Health Department, by the Treasury, who seem to be exceptionally negative when they ought to be positive and buying into the idea of a lower tax-led revival. Uh, and he's, in some senses, the chairman of the government, and he has to balance the forces. Uh, and I would urge him to be more independent of the health and scientific advisers, and certainly much more independent of the Treasury. So I think the Treasury is just getting it completely wrong, along with the Bank of England. Uh, and they are not allowing the economy to recover properly from the pandemic measures.